Putting the tappets on the end of the valves can be really hard, especially on an engine that's this far set down. Now, let me just explain what the purpose of the tappets do and while it's out of the car, just to show you how to do it, just so you get an idea of what the process is. So what we have here is the valve. This right here and here, that's the valve stem coming on the back. So what we're gonna do is take the spring and then like the cap there and that'll slide over the valve then what we'll do is take our tappets and that's what these three notches on the bottom of the, uh, the valve stem are and don't drop the tappet <laughs> I got it back <laughs> that slides I'm not gonna hold this over the engine I'm gonna take this right over here I don't want to lose these and then that slides right onto the valve right there. And then I'll get the other tappet. And this slides on just like that. Even now you can see how tricky this is. And then this, now add these two on, this will slide up just like that. So now what this is doing is now the valve is in there. It's held on by that taper. So then whenever you put your valve lifter like this right on top when this pushes down this is anchored on the head so it'll push down and push the valve open so the tappet is just keeping it seated and connected to the spring so that's what we have to do we have to do this process but inside the engine which is a little bit harder here's our jigs for putting the tappets in what you need to do here is take a piece of pvc pipe if you take one that fits right in here, it needs to be able to push right on that spring. And we have this cutout in there, so we can take this clamp here, put it on, and then we can take the clamp down, and then that'll compress the spring. So the reason why we have the cutout, of course, is so when this is on there, I'll take a screwdriver and put the tappets in. It's You'll see later, but it's you can't you can't do it without this. Um, this is just the method we found that works. So I have the valve in the cylinder here. The valve stem is sticking out; it's fully seated. I have the valves lapped. I can go ahead and take the spring assembly, put that in, take our clamp, put it on, put the jig on. And now let's go ahead and start to clamp this down. This is, it's always tricky, you gotta get it lined up. There we go. Okay. So now we have that all the way down. So with the tappets, let me get these. And what I found is with a screwdriver with a little bit of grease, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease inside of these just so they'll stick onto the valve itself. Without doing that, it's gonna be really hard. And just to get the grease on, I have a tube of grease. I'll just take the screwdriver, dip it in, and then it's sticky. So, I'm gonna set one of the tappets down. And this is gonna go right onto the tip of the screwdriver, just like that. Now you can see it's not gonna fall off. And this is the tricky part. You just have to get it on there. Carefully, there we go. I went right into place. I'm gonna try to move it just a little bit. Make room for the other one. Okay. Okay. That's good right there. You can see this is tricky. And I'm gonna get the other one. Put it on the screwdriver. this down in just like that 
Now with both of them in place, and then we can just release the clamp here, and the tappets are in place, and the valve is compressed with the spring now. These jigs are kind of, it was a lot of trial and error to make this. What we had to do was, first we just took a PVC pipe and almost cut it down the center, and we had a thinner pipe. You want as much meat as you can get on the pipe itself. That will sit right on the spring. And whenever you push this down, you want it to compress it down evenly. And if you cut it right in half, it won't do it evenly. You can imagine if you push it down on one half, it's not gonna go down straight. So it has to be more than halfway, but you still have to have a big enough opening to be able to fit your screwdriver and wiggle around the tappets. So it was a lot of trial and error to just kind of get the right design. We just have this probably a quarter, probably three quarter inch, not inch, three quarters of the way here, and then a quarter of it cut out here. And then that will fit right on there. And we have just enough room to get the tap it in. That's all you need, just enough room. And then these work pretty well. So getting these little tappets in definitely was kind of a trick and just doing it more than once just you do the first one and it's pretty hard and as you move on it definitely gets easier you're getting the hang of it so i hope you guys found this video useful if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time